Okay, this is a quick tutorial to demonstrate a few things. Number one, how to download a YouTube video and convert it. That is, pull it off the internet and put it on your local hard drive right on your computer. After you do that, I will show you how to edit it. Pull out a clip from that YouTube video so that you can ultimately embed it in a PowerPoint presentation. So the first thing you need to do is go up here and get the URL, that is get the address of the YouTube video, highlight it, hit control C, that'll copy that address. Now that you've copied it, go into your free make video converter and that's up now and select paste URL. Simply by clicking on that, you'll see that the video clip from YouTube is pasted there. But we don't quite have the video on our computer yet we need to convert it to a format that we can use. Now what's great about FreeMake Video Converter is you have many many options. As you can see in the bottom here you can turn it into an AVI, an MP4, an Apple format, Windows Media format and on and on. I'm going to select Windows Media because that will probably work best within the Microsoft PowerPoint. Click on the Windows Media icon and then you have some selections up here called presets. High definition, 1080p, 720p, DVD quality and so on. I'm going to select DVD quality. That's a nice format for displaying in a PowerPoint presentation. Now simply click on the word convert and we will download and convert with one easy step. Here we go. You can see up here on the right the video is downloading. It's about a third finished, half finished, and moving onward. Once it's downloaded, then FreeMake begins the process of converting it to the Windows Media format. And as I said a moment ago, that's the best format probably for putting it in PowerPoint because you're dealing with the same Microsoft product. Okay, the conversion has completed. I cut out in this screencast the part where it was converting. It took about a minute and maybe 30 seconds. But this dialog box pops up and it says your conversion is complete. I'll simply hit OK. I'll close the conversion window. And now we will go to the desktop where the conversion should have wound up after FreeMake processed it. OK, we're on our desktop now and here's the video right here in the middle. It's called I Have Powerful Friends Batman, and this is a trailer for a Batman video game. So let's double click on it and make sure it works. This is now on my computer, and I can cut it, edit it, email it, do whatever I want with it because I have local control over it. Let's double click on it, and in a moment, Windows Media Player will open. And there it is. There's the intro to the trailer. Let's see if it plays. Alright, it works and I've paused it now. Now what I want to do is take that video and use the same application FreeMake just to cut out a section or two to customize what I need for my PowerPoint presentation. So we're going to go back into the FreeMake video editor. Now that we're back in the FreeMake video editor, we have to put this video, the one that we convert it to, that's on our desktop, into the video editor. We go up here and select plus video or add video and we navigate to it. Here it is. I have powerful friends Batman. So I double click on that and now it's in the video editor. You can see that the video is 2 minutes and 17 seconds long. It's 720 by 404 in size and 1651 kilobits a second at 24 frames per second. So there's some data there about the video that you might find helpful when editing. We're going to do a very basic editing job here that FreeMake allows you to do. It's a very basic editor and basically what you can do is cut. So we're going to go to the scissor here on the right in order to cut out what we need and also eliminate what we don't want. So I simply click on the scissor and now a video screen pops up where I can do some cutting and pasting. Now what's great about this FreeMake is this video editor is pretty robust when it comes to displaying the video. If I simply take the button here and pull it I can go right through the Batman trailer back and forth and it goes very smoothly. 
So there's a section at the beginning of the video where it's done in black and white with a grainy look. It's kind of cool. And what I want to do is I want to clip that out. So I'm going to scroll there. I think it's at the 20, 28 second point. So right here on the left, you can see 20 seconds of 217. Keep dragging to the right. That's not it. Coming up in a second. There it is. It's in a black and white with a kind of a cool look to it. So I'm going to go backwards here. And I think there's a flash of white in between these scenes. And I can't quite get it. So here you can step back frame by frame. You see it says step back left. Let me go frame. Well, there it is. One frame back, I found the white. Now, how do we set that up to edit and cut? Well, down here is your cutting tray. Okay? So you have start selection and end selection. So what I want to do is cut out all of the video before that cool section that's in black and white grain. So what I need to do is not select start selection, but end selection. So it makes blue the beginning right up to where I want to display the video for my clip. So now that is selected again from the first frame right up to the frame I'm interested in. And then I go to the scissor and I select cut. Now my video begins at that grainy black and white part. I'll press play. Okay, so you see it begins there. Now what I want to do is I want to end it at a certain point. So it goes from that grainy point to some images of Batman's bat suit and his belt. We have an edit point. There's some more Batman images. Here Batman talks. I want to cut that out. I don't want to see him talk. I'll play it here. You become what you've always fought against. And I will stop you. So what I want to do is cut that part out. So I'm going to go backwards here. Look for the Batman who's speaking. That image. Go back slowly, slowly, slowly. I'm almost at the black. I'm going to hit the single frame backwards. It'll get me where I want to be with a few clicks. Now I'm at a great edit point. So now I need to start the selection because I want to cut that all out. So I hit start. And now I scroll to the right. All of the Batman talking is unfolding. Whoops. Go back there. And I'll hit a couple of step forwards. This is frame to the right until I hit an edit point. There it is. Go back. There's my edit point. Now I go back to the scissor and I select selection end. So what happened is see this blue area here? That's the whole section of Batman talking. I started it where he was talking. I played it through to the end and then I hit end selection end and it's blue in that area. So what do I need to do now? Simply hit the cut command. Now Batman talking is gone. And I'm going to pull this a little bit forward to find a nice edit point just to make this clip end. We'll end it, let's see, right here, right after that monster pulls off his chains. So how do I end it right there? Well, I want to go from here to the end. All of this information, all of this video data, I want to delete. So I'll hit my start point here to select. I'll go all the way to the end. And I'll hit selection end. So now I picked all of that. We know it's selected because it's blue and we cut it out. So now all we're left with is a 13 second clip. Remember I started out with the grainy black and white video. There was some Batman talking which I deleted and I left in a little bit more video after that until there's this monster trying to break out of his chains. So I got what I need. I've created my clip. I hit OK. I got my now 13 second clip. Just like when we converted the YouTube video to Windows Media, we're going to convert this 13 second clip we created to whatever format we want. Let's stick with Windows Media, okay? I click on it. I have DVD quality. I want to stay at DVD quality. The name is here. I'm going to highlight that. I have powerful friends. I'm going to delete all of that and I'm going to call it Clip from Batman and hit convert. And this should take seconds to convert. As you see, it's flying through and it's almost done because it's only 13 seconds. We're done. Conversion completed. Hit OK. Hit close. 
And now on my desktop is my little clip I made, clip from Batman. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it starts where we hoped and whether that Batman dialogue's gone and it ends with the monster busting out of the chains. Double click on it. We'll get Windows Media Player going. <laughs> And there it goes. So I have my clip just as I designed it, right? The grainy black and white portions there. Batman's dialogue is seamlessly gone, and it ends with the monster busting out of the chains. Now let's embed it in PowerPoint. We'll bring our PowerPoint into view, which I've already opened. I will name this slide Batman Clip. And what we're going to have to do now is insert that video into this slide. And in PowerPoint 2007, you can go up to insert. And it's the same way in most other versions of PowerPoint. The icons may be different. I'll go to the right here. It says movie. That's what I want. I want to insert a movie. I'll click on that. I'll navigate to my desktop where Batman clip is located. There it is. Clip from Batman. And if you wait a second, you'll see the Batman clip is on the slide and you get this dialogue how do you want the movie to start in a slideshow select when clicked you have more options that way and there's less potential for failure or mistake when you're doing a training or when you're presenting this PowerPoint so I'm going to select when clicked I'm going to move the Batman clip around what's great is you can resize it just by grabbing those handlebars after you drag it where you want I'm going to drag it make it a little wider and if you double click on this it'll begin playing so you can test it out to make sure that link is made I'll click on it again it stops if you want to add brackets or a frame around it you can do that as well just go up to this area here called picture tools and you have a number of picture tools that you can select if you want to make it round if you want to give it a black border you can do that as well and it looks pretty cool with a black border so Let's see if it plays as a PowerPoint presentation now. Now, I've gone into full screen PowerPoint here. You can only see a portion of it in this screencast, but you can see the titles there and part of the video clips here. If I click on it, it should begin playing the Batman clip. And it does. We'll make sure we have sound. And we do have sound and it plays as expected. One piece of advice when you make this PowerPoint make sure that you save the video clip any photos any other data that goes into your PowerPoint in a single folder and that folder is maintained so that we don't break the link here because this clip here of the video is linked it's not really embedded it is linked to the PowerPoint so you need to put it all in a single folder and that's what I've done here I'm back to my desktop I created a folder called Batman PowerPoint if I go into that folder you'll see that the PowerPoints there Batman training video and the clip from Batman so now they're linked and if I travel with my folder here it'll always be linked we don't have to worry about broken links so that's the simplest way to embed well that's not the right way to say it right to link to a video within a PowerPoint so that it's displayed on the slide and appears as if it's embedded. Good luck.